All right, guys, look at the belt. I'm in Miami, UFC 299, and guess what? Once again, I've partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to give all new customers a fantastic offer. We got the no sweat bet. Bet $5 or more and get a bonus bet all the way up to $1,000 by signing up using my promo code DCTV. Guys, UFC 299 is gonna be bananas. I mean, Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera, Dustin Poirier, Benoit Saint-Denis, the entire fight card is going to be sick. And you know we all try to boast and pretend and show our knowledge of mixed martial arts. Show that knowledge at the DraftKings Sportsbook and get a no sweat bet or qualify for a no sweat bet up to $1,000. Even if that bet doesn't win, the DraftKings Sportsbook still got you. So go, all new customers, download that DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. And at the DraftKings Sportsbook, the crown is yours. You look like you done, like, growing up in Lafayette, you done drank out of water holes and ate mud. Bro, I take Mud pies. I ate hey, mud pies. We all got miles, but them eventually threw away miles are different. Yeah, yeah. yeah they way different. They way different. They don't know about that, man. No, no, no. DP, thank you again, bro, for checking in with me, as cool. always. Boy, Miami, Florida. Not home, but home. It feels good to just kind of be in the same area, yeah? Yeah, bro. I mean, fight week, instead of jumping on a plane, Rushing out the house early in the morning with my, with my bags. I got in my rental car, drove an hour. Yeah. You know, from, from my condo. It's smooth. DP, uh, I got to tell you something, man. When you was about to not fight, I got scared, bro. Because this is one that I want to see, and it's been a while since we saw you in the octagon. Like, why, why is it taking so long for you to get back? And, like, how excited are you to finally be back in there? Man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to, to right the ship, but I took a little time off, trained smarter. You know, I got hit with the Hogan boot. I got to. You gotta recover right, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's just it. You know, I'm 35 years old, so like, still training. Just, but you're still just 35 years old. That is crazy, bro. You've been doing this shit forever. Yeah, yeah. When seven, did you seven, turn pro? 17 years. I've been fighting years. nonstop. 18 years old, you started pro. Yeah. Crazy. No, 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 no. I, I was maybe 19 or, or 20 when I was pro. Yeah. So, UFC 299, you're fighting Benoit Saint Denis. I remember when he beat uh, the kid in New York City. Matt Travola. Matt Travola. Knocked him out with a head kick. He said, I would like to fight Dustin Poirier. I laughed at him, bro. I was in the, like, I was in the audience. I, I laughed. I said, man, this guy's crazy. I laughed at him. I said, while I admire him taking the shot, there is no way he gets to fight Dustin Poirier. And then rumors kind of start about, dang, this dude might fight Dustin Poirier. How did that come together? How do they present that to you, right? A guy that's been in the top five for so long. Hey, we have this up and comer. We think that it'll be a great fight between you two. Are you interested? Pretty much that that exact way. Um, hey, this guy is like labeling himself like a BMF, that style of fighter, kill or be killed. He wants to fight the best guys who, who fight that kind of style. They know that I'm only going to fight fights that are like interesting to me, that are dangerous mm -hmm. like that. So I was like, man, when I first heard the name, I was surprised, ODC. I was like... I thought it was going to be like a former champion, a, a legend, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But then when I kind of sat back, I'm like, at first when I heard the name, I was like, no way, I'm not, this ain't happening. Then I, I sat I, back mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? I respect this, this game. I don't want to, it's not a game, but I respect what we do. And yeah. that, that's just how it goes, you know. I've been around a long time. They have these young, hungry guys in his 20s on a five-fight finish streak representing France. Like, this is just the game. I understand. Somebody had to fight you, too. Right? Back in somebody the day, gave somebody had shot. to give you your shot. And it seems like right now in your guys' division, that's what's happening, right? Gaethje fought against Fazeev. Uh, you're fighting Sandini. Oliveira's fighting against uh, Sarukian. So it seems but like... I've, I've done it before. You know, I went from a title fight, had surgery, came back and fought Dan Hooker, who was on the streak mm -hmm. and just main evented in his home country. Yeah, and, you're right. You know, I've done it before. I've been there before. Yeah. But what do you make of this, like, this... This, the way the division is moving right now. It's been top heavy. You know, it's been around. You guys have been in there since 2018. Like the top five has not changed. Yeah, but that's what you got to do. New blood has to come in. I got to see if I still got it. We got to see if he's who he says he is, and mm -hmm. we're gonna find out Saturday. Man. What you see in him? What do you see in Benoit Sandini when you see him? Grit. I haven't seen him in person, but when I watch his fights, grit. You know, in his debut, he he. Uh, it might have been short notice, so he fought at 170. But he yeah, took he a, did. Took he a, took a beating bad. A silly whipping. Yeah, that was crazy, dog. But, but he never quit. He walked forward the whole time. Every time he got off the stool when the bell rang, mm -hmm. walked forward, probably still hurt, wobbling around out there. He never, you know, never say die. He has that attitude. And those are the kind of guys that I want to fight. Those are the fights I want to be involved in. But that type of style 
is that play to what you, Dustin Poirier, can do? Because you're, I mean, your your striking is as good as anybody, and your counter ability too is real good. Yeah, no, those dog fights. That's where I do my best work, I believe. Mm -hmm. And guys who have that style, guys who bring that out of me, that's what I want. Man. You get through Benoit Saint Denis this weekend. You think a title fight awaits you? Because the other day I saw an interview where Habib said. I don't know why Gaethje's fighting Max Holloway. I don't know who Islam's going to fight, what's going to happen. Do you think that with the timing, this uh, being where it is right now, you get through something, you might be on the verge of a title fight? I mean, not to be cocky or mm -hmm. boastful, but I feel like the, the run I've had in the UFC, this is my 30th fight, I'm one big win away at any time from a title yeah, fight. Yeah, you know? at any time. That's what I believe. One big win, you know? You, you a great performance, a finish, I'm, I'm right there always. When you look back at your career, DP, and you see where you are today, not only just a fighter, but like the star that you are, because people react to you in a way that's much different. Did you ever envision this being your life? No, man, it's crazy. It's still like if I go to the mall or go to the beach here in Miami, people run up for pictures and stuff. It's still, it's still crazy, even all the years I've been doing it. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thankful. You know, I'm happy to see people happy to to want to see me and stuff like that. You know, you still kind of got that like little like small town guy to you. Like you don't want to, I don't like just not really be around a whole bunch of people. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't go out and do. What's stuff up like with that. the uh, shave the dog? That pretty boy haircut is I going. What happened, dog? dog? I don't know, man. I was just like, maybe Gates kicked me too hard, man. I was like, <laughs> Dude, you know, something got to change here. Dog, you tripping, man? Dog, that was just a fight, right? Like, I mean, fight. They that's all a, fights, man. That, but that just happens, right? Like that just happens. You, you know what's crazy? Can I ask you? I want to ask you this about that fight. Um, do you remember much after? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Bro, I've had fights where I don't. This, I remember everything. Bro, I still don't remember when Jones kicked me in the head. Because the head kick is normally when you forget, right? Jones kicked me in the head. And then uh, I was walking back to the back. And, bro, crying. I don't remember. Crying in the octagon. Yo, I saw a video. <laughs> Bro, this shit was crazy, DP. We walking back. Javier Mendez is rubbing me on the back. I looked at it. I was like, when the fuck did that happen, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I saw it. Yeah. I was like, yo, when was that? Bro, I've had it, putting the pieces together. I've had it after fights. But does it come back ever? Not the ones that I've... The ones that I've had that happen, I've never got it back. I've never gotten it back. Yeah. But with, with this last it's one, like you It's like the uh, Men in Black. Look at this. Dude, it's like the Men in Black yeah. press that button thing and you just forget that shit. Like, dog, what? Yeah, this last one, no. I was there the whole time, man. Really? Yeah. What do you think What do you think happened in that fight? Just a different just a I've, different I've, expectation of what it was going to be? I didn't see the kick till the last second. I only had one hand up. I didn't one have, hand I didn't have you a guy hand down. Mm -hmm. So the shin hit my forearm and the foot, you know, just the impact. Got, On the back you know, of it. Was, it was good, man. How long Great. did it take you to kind of get over everything? I mean, I understand this is that's fighting. I'm still not over it. Yeah. It fucking sucks, man. Losing That's sucks. hard to deal with, yeah. Yeah. Especially, like, Gaethje's a great fighter, a warrior. But, uh, like, in the first round, I was like, okay, I'm getting my timing. I hit him with a shot. I knew I heard him. Kind of saw him, you know, do the dance a little bit. But I said, we got five rounds. I'm, I'm going to be a professional. I'm not going crazy. Yep. I'm not doing DP kamikaze right now. Let's not do it. Like, like let me take my time and get, get this guy out of there. You know, you know it's just like... Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mm -hmm. It's fighting. But when you talk about one big win away from a championship opportunity, I believe that, but it's also timing, right? Yeah. Gage and them aren't fighting until April. Islam's not going to fight till the summer. Those guys, but you hey, would imagine, are going to beat each other up in April. But what if Max wins? Does he stay at 55? Now we got a new contender. New, at new 45. There's a lot of things at play, right? No. If Max is fighting Gaethje at 55. I know, but Max won't. If Max, if Max beats wins, Gaethje. If Max beats Gaethje, he still goes and fights Ilya Taporia. I mean, that's a great fight. What do you think? I, if, if I'm me, I know that I at 155 he fought you, fighting Justin. Right? We don't know how it's going to play out, but then I feel like I feel like the most likely outcome is you guys fighting. Not only for... If you win, not only for your fighting ability, but the star power that you bring to the fight with a guy like Islam Makachev. That's my thought. Obviously, I don't make the matchup. Yeah. I would give you, like, title fight after title fight. My man. Yo, you my dog. Oh, you know what I mean? I was mean, just giving you title no. fight. You be like Uriah in favor if I was the guy <laughs> making fights. Come you know, on. Uriah just kept getting title fight after Come title on. fight. Bro, what does Saturday night look like for you? Right? I know Lafayette going to be in the building because they always are. Yeah. But, like, what does Saturday night look like for you in uh in the Kasaya Center, I think it's called? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kasaya? Kasaya, <laughs> Kasaya Center, it's, yeah. But uh, just enjoying the process, man. That's what I'm trying to do, you know? Because I know I don't have a, a long run left. 
You still got at least five years. I did this shit to 40. You could still do it for five more Heavyweights years. Heavyweights are different, man. I know. We're not that good. <laughs> no, we're not as good, dude. I swear, like, the heavier you get, the less the guys are as good. I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't know, man. Bro, I'm telling you, they hit harder, but the skill level, like a 25-pounder, those guys are nuts. Skill level's crazy. The man. skill level's crazy as you get lower, and you guys' skill level is as high as anyone in the world. Yeah. I don't know. Just enjoy the, enjoy the process. Enjoy this week. My wife's getting in tomorrow. Make the weight. It's been a smooth weight cut, bro. Yeah, you don't look as big nah, right I'm, now. I'm not big. Probably the lightest I've been throughout camp. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like the haircut. I like the attitude. This is my boy right here. Like, I, I know I don't, I don't play favorites. But this is my boy right here. I've been knowing this dude for a long time, and he's from Lafayette. So watch him take on Benoit Saint-Denis this weekend at UFC 299. In the co-main event, Dustin the Diamond Poirier, as always, one of the hardest punches, biggest stars in all of mixed martial arts, is on display this weekend. Tap into everything Dustin is doing. Follow him on all his socials, and make sure you get some of that hot sauce. It's good. I got some with me. You got some? Got you always got the hot sauce. Always. Why well, I didn't get none. I got you. Back in the day, you used to actually give me some, but you know what? You know what happens in friendship? You start thinking, man, this dude taking too much. Nah. Because it is kind of like, it, you know how they say at home, they say hand come, hand go. I don't know the last time I gave you something. I mean, yesterday's price ain't today's price. Man. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's a Louisiana boy right there. Make sure you guys watch this weekend. Until next time, peace. Thanks for checking in, DP. You're the man, bro.